Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm showing you how to make this miniature bathtub made with wood. It's got a little bit of oil on it and a little bit of wire as well. It can be made to hold water, and I'll show you how. Hope you enjoy! So to start this project off, I'm using jumbo popsicle sticks. I'm going to go in ahead and separate these popsicle sticks into one group of four and three groups of two. Cut the ends off of all the groups and cut each of the groups into five inch pieces. Then cut one of the groups of two into halves so that you have one four piece five inch piece and two five inch two pieces and two more two and a half inch pieces. You're going to use these to form a frame around the largest piece. Now on that large piece you're going to cut off half of one of those sticks so it's really more like three and a half sticks instead of four. Glue all of those together to form a rectangular box and then I'm using some coffee stir sticks or skinny sticks form the actual borders. This is the section that's going to be the rim of the tub. Now I use wood filler on this, that's just to fill in any of the gaps. And after the wood filler dried and I would sanded it, I went on ahead and went through with some silicone caulking. Now this is caulking medium that you can find pretty much any place, Home Depot, Lowe's, um, even Walmart's, which is where I got mine. Um, and this one, it, this particular one dries into clear from white, but some of them you can purchase as, um, and they dry white, they dry ecru, they dry almond, whatever other, whatever other color you want. Just go on ahead and get some of this caulking medium and rub it in. You're going to rub it into all the creases on your, um, on your tub and also on all of the surfaces that might be exposed with water. That means all the walls. Now I'm also using some extra jumbo popsicle sticks and I'm spacing these about three inches apart. That's enough to fit the tub on the inside. But texture is out to make sure that it will fit. And add two more pieces onto the side and that way you have a frame. And I'm going to use balsa wood for the rest of this. And that's simply because I'm running out of my extra jumbo popsicle sticks. So I'm going to cut my balsa into two inch strips and use that to line my frame. Now I have a frame that looks kind of like a tissue box. Once my caulking has dried, I'm going to go through with some outdoor paint. And I'm using the outdoor paint because even though it's not waterproof, it's water resistant. And I want to add as much um, material onto my tub that will keep the water from seeping through as possible. And that way I can keep water in it for an extended period of time. So now you have two choices. Once you've painted it, you can decide if you want to keep a matte finish and go with some more silicone caulking. Or if you want, you can do as I did, and I'm going to use resin to do my final coating on this. Um, I do like resin. Anyone who watches my videos know I'm not afraid of resin at all. And I'm going to use a disposable paintbrush to paint this on. And the resin's going to, of course, give it that nice, shiny, glossy porcelain finish. And it's also going to keep any water from seeping anywhere on it. And while that resin is curing, 
I'm going to go in ahead and use some of the regular coffee stir sticks. Now these are the super thin variety and I just bought, I got several of these. Um, I just bought a box off of eBay that was like a thousand in the box for seven dollars. So um, I'm going to use these and I use about 15 of each color I think to do the entire tub. So I painted mine in metallic colors and just paint on one side is fine. And um, I went with white, aqua, ivory, turquoise, and beige. And then I just used some scissors to cut them off into varying lengths. Some of them are long, some of them are short, some of them are really short. And then I painted the background of my tub white and then proceeded to glue the tiles in place. Random for the most part, but just trying to avoid doing the same colors too many times in succession. Finally, I used a heavy gauge of wire, and I cut this into um, two quarter inch pieces and one one and a half inch piece, and I curved the one and a half inch piece into a J shape. Then I used some aluminum from a pie pan or cake pan, one of the disposable ones. And then I cut the disposable pie pan into strips and wrap that around the wire. So now we have a faucet and two handles. Now I'm using another coffee stir stick and I'm cutting that into three quarters of an inch. And I glued the faucet and the handles on top of it. And then I use two toothpicks and cut off the ends of them. Glue those in place to make handlebars for your handles. Now your tub is ready to put in. You put the tub in, facing and choose the direction you want to put your faucet. And you can go on ahead and glue yours if you'd like. I'm not going to glue mine because as I've explained before, I'm building rooms and I don't always know where things are going to go in the room just yet. So I know what components are going to go in the room, I just don't know where I'm going to put the things in the room. So I'm going to leave mine unglued, but please go ahead and glue yours in place and you can even add a little caulking around it if you'd like. Then I used a small piece of wood that I cut into a square and then filed into a circle. This is going to be my overflow bowl. But first we're going to put in two little holes or two little embossed sections to look like screws. And I'm using my ball tool for this. Then I cut a teeny tiny little circle out of some of the remaining foil. And then I use my ball tool to emboss an even smaller circle. Cut out the small embossed circle and glue that directly on top of the flat one. And put that in place as a drain. So now you have an overflow valve, a drain, a faucet, and your tub is done. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.